late, late, late today. And I hope that you people could understand why we are late. I'm late because of, because of uh, the program I just had. I just had another program that's Ask Pastor Sunday program. So that's why I'm late. And now we're starting this, new pro this other program. So we're going to be, we're going to extend it by the 10 minutes that we came late. Welcome everybody, Sunday Adelaide here. I hope you got the notification. I don't know if the notification actually went out today because sometimes I'm told that the notification does not always go out when I'm, when I'm late for some reason. Uh, I hope the notification is out. Welcome, welcome. Is there anybody there who is greeting us? Is there anybody who is saying hi? Oluwato in hi. You are there. You are the first one there that I can see at least. And it's like our connection is not very strong today for some reason. Uh, I hope I've not frozen. I hope you can still see me. Shegun Lawao. Ayodeji Solomon. Uh, look at your days here for me a day. Welcome, welcome everyone. I can hear me a day by your welcome. Okay, well, what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be taking testimonies from some of our people that uh that are actually taking the kingdom of God to, to their spheres of life, to different spheres of life. So if you want to learn on how to advance the kingdom of God, here we are. Anthony Ferrao, welcome. We are fine. We want to hear the stories of how ordinary people are advancing the kingdom of God today. Ernest Ebonk, welcome. So we have some interesting people with us. And I would like to introduce them to you. Uh, okay. Now, these are the two girls. They were here last week. But we couldn't hear the story of the two of them. We only heard the story of Yelena. Yelena. And that's Yelena there. And we didn't hear the story of Anna. So here we are today. We want to hear the story of the two of them. We heard the story of Yelena. And everybody was so blessed. I keep on receiving letters and comments on uh, how the story blessed people. So now, Anna, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay, tell us about yourself, Anna. Здравствуйте. Спасибо, что пригласили на эту передачу. Спасибо за эту возможность. Anna is saying thank you so much for, uh, for inviting me to this program. It's a great opportunity to be here. И очень удивительно, что столько людей собирается на эти передачи. И спасибо за ваше время, что вы выделяете это время для того, чтобы послушать нас. Yeah. Anna is saying thank you so much for the for that I'm having the time to me to have these programs and she's saying so many people come to listen to these programs and uh, she's trying to thank me for my time. Yes. Меня зовут Анна, мне 35 лет и сегодня я представлю свою историю успеха с группой с домашней группой пастора Сандея. То есть я расскажу, как мне помогла домашняя группа пастора СНД стать из никого в общественного деятеля и человека с научной степенью. And now that mentorship team uh, has helped her to have influence upon the society today. Я пришла в церковь в 97 году, и я была простым членом церкви, и я пыталась служить, служить в различных служениях, в молитвенном служении, в молодежном служении, в группе прославления. Я считала, что благодаря моему служению я смогу исполнить свое призвание. Только благодаря упорной молитве, чем больше я буду молиться, тем больше у меня получится в этой жизни. И как-то Бог приведет меня к тому, что само собой мое призвание, оно исполнится. She's telling a story that when she just came to church, she used to think that just by staying in the church and uh, doing all the 
church meetings and doing all the church ministries that she will be able to carry out a ministry. That is, you know, she was in the youth ministry, she was in the choir, and just being in the four walls of the church, she could satisfy and, and, um, and please God. Then she discovered that, you know, just by being in the four walls of the church, you can never really fulfill your calling or your destiny. You, you, for, to, for you to really fulfill the calling of God upon your life, you must step out from the comfort of the four walls of the church. И я все ожидала, что э, я от Бога получу эту благодать, которую я считала, что благодать это получить что-то на шару, не, при, не, не применяя каких-либо усилий к тому, чтобы мое призвание, оно исполнилось. И даже не, при, не применяя усилий, чтобы его даже найти. И иметь какой-то план. She said I was a dreamer, like most Christians. I was dreaming that, uh, uh, you know, God would somehow supernaturally cause me to fulfill my destiny on earth. But I was not even looking for purpose. I was not even finding out or studying how to fulfill that purpose or how to, uh, how to fulfill that purpose. You know, I was not even trying to know how to fulfill the purpose. I was, I was not even trying my best. I was not even, uh, you know, doing anything towards that. I, I was just being in the church. I thought if I, I'm faithful in the church, if I'm just coming to church and I'm doing my best, I'm doing everything people are telling me to do. I'm singing where I need to sing. I am, uh, you know, in the choir where I need to be there. And I'm, you know, in the youth service when I'm in the church. God will just one day wake up and take me to my promised land and cause me to fulfill my, my calling and my destiny for which I have been called. I thought I needed to be faithful in church for me to be fulfilled in life. But then I discovered very fast that I didn't even bother to discover who I am what I was called to be, and how to fulfill that plan, talk less of fulfilling it. I didn't even know the know-hows. I didn't even know who I was. I didn't even take time to find out who I was, and that that was all an illusion. И благодаря тому, что однажды пастор Сендей, он решил стать uh, тренером для людей, которые захотели бы учиться, uh, я попала в эту домашнюю группу, и спасибо пастору, что он принял для того, чтобы научить нас принципы, принципами, которые бы помогли нам исполнять наши призвания и стать людьми царства, которых нас учил пастор в домашней группе, что мы должны выйти за пределы церкви, за пределы э, стен церкви и стать людьми, которые распространяют принципы царства. For people who want to know how to practically take the kingdom of God to the society, how to discover their calling and how to use their calling and passion to bring about the national transformation and bring about the kingdom of God into their areas of calling. So thank God I was qualified. I was admitted into that, uh, into that group of mentorship team of Pastor Sunday. And from there, uh, I was trained that actually I needed to discover my gifts, my talents, and needed to discover my calling. And then I was also trained on how to use that calling to bring about the kingdom of God in the, in the society, in the country that I live in. И пастор Сандей, он э, стал учить меня, что мы должны э, не быть равнодушными к тем проблемам, которые мы видим в обществе. И если mm. какая-то проблема, э, ты ее видишь, то ты обязан ее решить, если ты видишь, что есть эта проблема. The first time in my life I discovered I, through the teachings of Pastor Sunday that I, I was not saved to just be a church member, that I was not saved to be a churchgoer, that I was saved to be an answer, that, the, that God had packaged me for an answer, that God has made me, custom made, to begin to bring about a solution to some situation in my country. I never thought about that before. I thought I was saved just to be preserved in the churches and go to heaven. But here, for the first time, I began to see the responsibility that God placed on me, that I needed to give something back to the kingdom of God. If the kingdom of God has saved me, it saved me for a purpose. So I needed to now begin to equip myself to go and be fulfilling that purpose for which God sent me here in the first place. И нас пастор учил, как найти свою землю. Он говорил, что если в вашем сердце э, на какую-то проблему отзывается, эта проблема отзывается боль в вашем сердце, вы не можете спокойно спать, вы не можете спокойно э, делать то, что вы раньше делали, и вы постоянно об этом думаете, как бы это изменить, как принести какие-то изменения. У вас плачет об этом сердце, это значит, это есть ваша земля, и вы должны пойти туда и решать эту проблему, которую вы увидите. Pastor told us how we to discover our calling and our this, the destiny. How do you know what you are called to fix? How do you know what you are called to do in the world? 
the pastor says that, you know, you live your life normally, but there are some things that touch you. There are some things that bother you. So if your heart is painful about anything, if you are concerned about something, if something you are not indifferent about some particular situation, you know, other people might be indifferent towards that situation, but you cannot be indifferent. You are particular about it. You want to talk about it. It pains you. It, I mean, it's, you have some passion. Some in, you are not indifferent to, to that situation. That means that is your area of calling. That could be the thing that God wants you to tackle. Don't just be one of those ones that sit across the road on the on the. Uh, uh, roadside and begin to complain. We are not called to complain about situations, but if anything concerns you so much that you want to complain about it, it means go and study, go and keep yourself, go and get yourself ready to be able to address it. If anything is bothering you in the society, that is the thing that you are supposed to address. It's, it's, that is the thing that you are supposed to conquer, to submit, to subdue, and to, to change. You are supposed to change the situation, not complain about it. И э, если мы хотим э, влиять, э, влиять э, широко, то пастор Сандей, он также нас учил, что мы должны разговаривать на таком же языке с людьми, с этим миром, чтобы они нас понимали. Поэтому самый э, лучший способ, это Brilliant. то, что нам пастор сказал, это была общественная организация, открыть общественную организацию для решения этой проблемы. And for us to be able to uh, be effective where we are, so that people will count with us and listen to us, we need to be able to speak the language of the people. So if you come to the world or to your sphere of influence or to economy or commerce department, I mean, area of life or politics or entertainment, and you begin just to shout hallelujah, amen, and quote the Bible, people will think you are crazy and they will chase you out of the place. So for you to be able to be effective and for people to be able to honor you and respect you and to be willing to listen to you for what you are bringing, you must be able to speak their language. You must be able to be on their level. You must be able to equip yourself. You must be able to be as good as they are. And you must be able to profess some solutions, bring in some solutions, some suggestions that will cause them to listen to you. So that takes a lot of equipping. That takes a lot of preparation. That takes a lot of change. You a lot of working on yourself and bringing yourself to the level where people will count with you. И я, конечно же, не знала ничего об общественных организациях, не понимала, как ее, как ее организовать, как потом с ней содействовать и как работать. Но благодаря этому заданию пришлось, благодаря заданию пастора СНД пришлось этому учиться, находить информацию. И благодаря этому я стала лидером общественной организации, которая сейчас помогает людям пожилого возраста. Wow, so she's a very enticing, I didn't even know this myself, I, I know she's active, she's busy, so I, but I didn't know what, what she was doing, I forgot maybe. Anyway, so what she said is that, uh, and apart from you getting yourself educated and apart from you getting yourself um, you know, equipped to be able to address the situation, you must also have a platform, you must have a platform upon which you stand. You must have a platform upon which you are supposed to, you know, use to be able to reach out to the people that you want to reach out to. You know, you cannot come on the platform of the church because they will say this is religion and this is separated from the from the government and from the society and all that. And then you are, you know, you are supposed to come uh, on a platform that they will respect. So we, what the platform that we discover that is best to use is the NGO platform, civil society platform. So I started an NGO and my area of burden that I, that I was not I was not indifferent to that uh, that was always bothering me is the attitude to older generation of people to senior citizens to old people and uh, so I started my own NGO dedicated to resolving the problem of old people whatsoever their problems and challenges are I needed to change the attitude and the the, the you know the attitude to, of people to old people in our society and to bring them to a place of honor И благодаря открытой общественной организации я смогла с этой общественной организацией входить в различные общественные советы при районах и при министерствах для того, чтобы общаться там с людьми и решать проблемы этих людей. И на одной из таких общественных советах я познакомилась с одной организацией ветеранов, которые дали нам, просто дали нам списки всех ветеранов, и чтобы мы могли их э, поздравить. И это дало нам возможность входить в дома к тем людям, которые лежачие, которые не могли бы прийти. И благодаря имени организации и того человека, который дал списки, у нас просто была возможность входить и влиять на этих людей, молиться за них. 
at this time, I had already joined the political, uh, I, I, you know, I had already fulfilled another you know, assignment from pastor, which says every member of the uh, home group of Pastor Sunday must join a political, you know, must be in part of the political uh, running of the country. So I had become a member of the, one of the, uh, of you know, of, you know, of, a, of uh, a ministry, ministry of social services. So I was already in a, a having a political influence, a, a social council position, and so in that my so position as a uh, social council member, I had to talk to uh, somebody who was in charge of all the old people in the in the nation, in the country, or in the city. And uh, so I had all the database of all the old people. So this is not just about going to address the problem of one old person or two old person, but this is a systemic approach whereby, you know, we're going to government, or, or first of all, have access to all the old people in the line. Because of your position of authority, they will not refuse you. So you have the assets, you have the platform, and then you are able to communicate directly with people who have the direct information that you need to be able to holistically minister to all all the old people in the country because they have the database and that so as a result I began to be able to take the the good news and the solution that I had to all these old people individually right in their homes and to their houses и также благодаря нашей деятельности которую мы проводили мы проводили концерты мы проводили поздравления какие-то по домам нас увидела администрация нашего района и увидев нашу деятельность она сказала что мы будем работать теперь только с вами им понравилось, как мы проводим там концертную деятельность, как это все организовано, и поэтому у нас были уже связи в администрации благодаря этому. And you know what this did to us is because we were so active, I mean, ministering to all the old people in the city and resolving their problems and uh, you know feeding them and bringing them help and doing concerts for them and uh, you know ministering for, to them and just meeting their needs. Now, as a result of that, the government of this noticed our 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 activities, and they said, "You people are so active and you are so effective. There are nobody that is doing what you people are doing, and uh, and then you are doing this at your own expenses. You are you are not you know taking uh, acting for our money." So the government came to us and asked that they will partner with us. So that you are the only one, but there are so many organizations in the country that are doing this, but they say, well, you are the only organization that we want to partner with because we see your work, we see the, the you know, attitude to work, and you, you know, so we want you to work on in, in partnership with the umbrella of the government. Я хочу еще сказать о том, что я никогда не думала, что я буду заниматься такой деятельностью, так как я пришла очень скромным, таким закрытым человеком, не хотела ничего делать, спокойно сидеть. Вот. Но благодаря э, тем заданиям, которые пастор Сандей он давал на домашних группах, нужно было их исполнять, но пришлось выходить как бы из себя, из этой зоны комфорта. I, let me tell you something. Let me admit something to you. I am such a reserved person, introvert personally. So I don't like to go out and, you know, talk and, you know, show myself forth and be active. And I'm not a public person. So I like just to withdraw and just be on my own and just do my own thing. Nobody noticing me. But, you know, because of these teachings of Pastor Sunday, because of the training of Pastor Sunday, it developed me into from being a shy, shy person that is, uh, you know, intimidated and, you know, timid person into somebody that is, you know, taking responsibility. So, you know, I never knew that I could have such an influence, political, having for political influence, social influence, become becoming a civil society leader and having thousands of people being influenced by me. I never knew that was possible, but I never knew I could even do it. But, you know, the training to become a son, to release you from the pews and to, for, to raise you up from being a child and to becoming a mature son, it does, his, it does his, the miracle. And as a result, I, I myself was alarmed and, and, uh, and surprised at the changes that are happening to me. I couldn't believe this was all happening to me. Это благодаря тому, что пастор Сендей, он решил быть тренером, он согласился нас тренировать, а мы согласились применять какие-то минимальные усилия. Вот. А у нас что-то получилось, так как пастор Сендей, он всегда говорил, что лучше вам при, претерпеть всего 2 грамма боли сейчас, выполняя какие-либо задания, работая над собой, читая книги, выполняя задания, которые он дает, чем потом терпеть эту боль от разочарования, что ты yes. не сделал что-то в своей жизни. Mm. 
Well, I would like to say that a lot of thanks, of course, goes to Pastor Sunday for all our achievements because Pastor Sunday was spending his life to train us. He trained us, he gave his life to train us on a daily basis and coach us and, you know, giving us a lot of homework and tasks and assignments. And, you know, you have to read a lot of books, you have to do a lot of changing, you have to change your mentality, your mindset had to be changed. You have to, you know, you have to be transformed totally. And, uh, and but he, had, he kept on pushing us. He was not, he was not giving up on us. He never gave up on us, he kept on pushing us. And as a result, we became who we became. We never, we, we, we were just, we, the only thing we needed to do was just to agree to do what he told us to do. So the, the, that was the agreement. If we would do everything pastor tells us to do, he said we would not believe who we would become. And we just were willing to pay the price and do all the things he tells us to do and follow the instructions he gave us. And we, we couldn't believe who we actually became as a result. И сама система, которую пастор Сенвей придумал, систему домашней группы, она тебя выталкивает, если ты делаешь все, что он говорит. И одна из, один из принципов, которых он нас учил для того, чтобы достичь успеха, это принцип выскочки. То есть ты не должен сидеть тихонечко и ждать, что тебя пригласят куда-то стать депутатом или кем-либо стать, потому что тебя там никто не ждет. Ты должен, ты, должен, ты должен сам себя показать. И этот принцип однажды помог мне на одном общественном совете заработать больше голосов, чем остальные, только потому, что я могла встать, что-то говорить и обратить на себя внимание. Well, the, well, you know, these, these principles that Pastor Sunday, you know, what Pastor Sunday did was that he set up a system. He, 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 he came up with an algorithm, with a formula of how to take somebody from nothing to become anything they want to become in life. So Pastor Sunday has these ideas and he also had a system to to develop you, to take you from zero to hero, to take you from nobody to become anybody that you wish to become in life. And when he was telling us that we couldn't believe it, we said, is that possible? We are just ordinary people. Do you mean we could become influencers and, 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 sh and movers and shakers in this country? We were just thinking that we're just young people, we're ordinary people that we couldn't do anything. But we discovered very soon that this man has got everything figured out. That once he has a formula, once we just follow the formula, once we step by step adhere to the formulas, we, be, we begin to be surprised at who we became. It was actually working out. It was like a wonder, like sign and wonder that we were actually becoming who this man predicted that we were going to become. And one of the principles that Jesus told us, I mean, that Pastor Sonny taught us, is that you must never sit down anywhere thinking that somebody is going to give you something. Nobody is waiting for you to give you anything. You must fight for everything in your life. You must be an upstart. You must be an upstart in everything. So it's because thanks to this principle of being an upstart, that is how I got a place in the, uh, in the council, in the uh, social council of the city. And I was elected because I was always having an idea as an upstart. I was always bringing solution. So being an upstart that is always coming with solutions and answers, that just makes them to know that, well, nobody is doing this. So you are the one we are going to elect. And that's why I was elected into the, into the government structure. Хочу перейти к другому заданию, которое пастор СНД нам дал. Это то, что говорилось в предыдущей передаче, что мы должны получать высшее образование, либо степень, если у тебя уже есть высшее образование. И я послушалась вместе с сестрой, с другими верующими, и получила эту докторскую степень, поступила в университет. Сейчас имею PhD в сфере международные отношения. Another thing I want to testify about is like my sister testified the last time. You know, pastor Sunday said, for you to be an influencer, and a mover and a shaker, you got to go back to university, all of you. <laughs> so if you didn't have a higher degree, I mean, if you have to go to university. If you have a higher degree, you have to go and get your master's. If you have master's, you have to go and get your PhD. But no matter what, the, the goal was to get 500 PhD orders from the, school, from the church and from his team. So, so I, Pastor Sunday set up this team and started pushing us. He started pushing us. And we have to go and pay for education. We have to find money to get admission. And because we didn't want to lose our, our position as mentees under Pastor Sunday, we had to do everything we needed to do to carry out the assignment that he's telling us to, to do. So I, I and my sister, we went for a PhD. And guess what? I also became a PhD holder in international relations just to look together with my sister. Я сначала не понимала, зачем мне нужна эта степень, но благодаря пастору Санде и его далекоглядности, я теперь понимаю, зачем она мне нужна и как она мне сейчас помогает в жизни. At first I was saying that why do I need to be able to be to go for, for higher education, to go for 
secondary degree, the second degree of a master's or PhD. Why do I need this PhD thing? I mean, I got a good job. I'm working. I'm okay. I'm just a lady. I'm just a girl. Why should I have that PhD? I don't really know. I'm not thinking I'm an intellectual. I don't, you know, maybe I don't need to be an intellectual. But then, you know what? Now I'm seeing the result. I couldn't believe how far Pastor Sunday could see. Pastor Sunday is seeing far, far, far ahead of us. We never knew that this would ever help us in life. And we never knew that we actually need this to become who, who we never dreamed we could become. But now seeing all the benefits, I'm saying, wow, how come this man was able to see so far? And he was absolutely right. We needed it to become movers and shakers of our country. And that's who we are right now. Just thanks to the fact that we obeyed this man and did what he told us to do. Благодаря получению этой степени открылись возможности ходить на участвовать в научной конференции благодаря Елене Стебельской. Мы теперь я и другие мы ходим на, общ... на... на конференции научные и мы пишем статьи, основанные на книгах пастора Сандея. So what we have done is that we have decided to change the value system of our country, to change the value system of the country. So we needed to create platforms like we are scientists. We're like we're PhD holders that are prescribing solutions to all issues and problems of the society. So we take a problem and a situation, a question, and then we go ahead to study the books of Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday has over 200 books, or three, close to 300 books now. So we go and take these books of Pastor Sunday and bring and build a program and a formula to develop a formula to resolve the particular problem that the society is struggling with. And then we, we organize a seminar or a conference or a symposium whereby we get other scientists and other professors and other lecturers so that we all deliver this and as a prescription to resolving the problem of the nation. And all these prescriptions are kingdom-based, based on the revelations and the books that Pastor has written, written to address all questions of the society. И нас очень хорошо принимают на этих конференциях, так как мы предлагаем что-то живое, мы предлагаем решение проблем. Потому что на этих конференциях обычно предлагают какую-то философию, которая никак не помогает и не изменяет общество. И благодаря одной из конференций, на которых мы были, была написана статья мной по книге пастора Сендея «Как через, гениаль... «Как через концентрацию достичь ги... гениальности». И заинтересовался директор одной академии развития человека этим и пригласил и хочет чтобы вместе сотрудничали и этот метод пастора Сандея как-то внедрять в его программу. She's saying that uh, you know because we are coming with another approach. Normally the scientists and the professors who are you know doing this prescription of answers and solutions to the problems of the society, they are coming from the side of philosophy. So they are coming with science, figures, you know, philosophy, talking, but we come with concrete answers and concrete solutions. So for example, uh, one day in, my, in, in this, uh, one of these seminars, what I came up, up with, uh, with an idea, I mean, I was, my, my idea is how to improve the school system and the, the, no, the intellectual capacity of our people. So I took the book of Pastor Sunday that we, Pastor Sunday had written, that everybody can become a genius. How everyone can become a genius is the name of Pastor Sunday's book. And the key in that book is that you can become a genius through the power of concentration. And it's a whole book. So I went and took Pastor Sunday's book. I analyzed it, wrote it in the language, in the, from, you know, from ordinary language to science language. And I put it in a, in a, as a scientific paper, delivered it. But there was a, a professor there who was a director of human, human capital resources and human capital development in our country. So this person, who is a, I mean, this is a whole institution, research institute. So the director of this research institute couldn't believe what, what I was saying and what he heard from me. And I'm just an ordinary PhD holder, ordinary, ordinary girl. And this old man, the professor, the, the director of this institute, research institute, came to me and said, you know what, you have something. This technology that you have, this methodology that you have, we need to use it and to, to use it and to, as a basis, as a, as, a, as a system, as a method to use to, to develop the human capital of our country. Because in all our works, we are also giving honor to our pastor, 
the man, our mentor, who made us who we are. And so in all our, our papers that we submit, we always refer back to Pastor Sunday, but not as pastor, but as, as, as a writer that has written this book that we use. So we put references to the source of our information as Pastor Sunday. So everybody recognized Pastor Sunday, even though they, some people might not accept him or love him or like him in the country because you know he's a foreigner and everything is done is coming from with another faith, but but another with Protestant faith. But they cannot deny him. They cannot deny his influence because he's bringing solution. Even though he's not the one coming himself, but we as his disciples, we are giving credit to him that he's the one who taught us and made us to be able to provide this. Uh, answers to the so, uh, to these problems of the society and bring about solution because of the the work and the volumes that this man has written. Это очень хороший способ доносить принципы, которые записаны в книгах пастора Сандея до научного мира. И они, конечно же, влияют на людей, нас уже знают, нас приглашают на различные научные конференции. И последнее, куда мы попались, благодаря тоже Елене Стебельской. И благодаря выбору наших статей в Верховную Раду на круглый стол. Там собираются люди, христиане, христианское такое межфракционное объединение, да, которые принимают сейчас важные вопросы. Там есть депутаты, которым мы можем подавать изменения в законы и благодаря этому еще больше влиять. И, конечно, мы никогда не думали, я, например, никогда не думала, что я когда-нибудь попаду в Верховную Раду и буду предлагать какие-либо изменения к законам. Только благодаря тому, что пастор Садей в свое время дал такое задание, и мы были послушны. Я не могу верить, до какого степени наша инфлюенция возросла. So, because we are so popular right now as people who pro prescribe solutions to the problem of the country and delivering lectures and give recommendations to the government and how to resolve all the problems of the land. And now the, go the national parliament, not the city parliament or regional parliament, this is the national parliament, the parliament of Ukraine, noticed us. And because of our work, now they now started inviting us to the parliament to give speeches and recommendations on how to write on the new laws to rise. And to, so all the national parliaments, the senators are sitting down and then they, we are the ones giving them prescription on what we think needs to be done in the country and how to, just because one day we decided to obey Pastor Sunday, just because one day we believe that the, the, what, the instructions he gave to us were worth it. And today, look what God has done. We are now the ones sitting down with the parliamentarians and senators and giving them recommendations on the new laws to rise on the basis of the books of Pastor Sunday and they thought that the things they has taught us. И, конечно, все это благодаря тому, что у нас был тренер, и я считаю, что без этого тренерства, без тренера в своей жизни ты никогда не сможешь состояться, ты не сможешь достичь каких-либо результатов в своей жизни. Поэтому я призываю тех, кто хочет вступать в группу Пастор СНД и иметь его как своего тренера, то чтобы вы побыстрее это сделали, это изменит вашу жизнь качественно. И благодаря тем принципам, которые он учит, просто исполняя их, вы увидите этот большой результат в своей жизни. I just want to use this opportunity to tell all of you that there is such a huge benefit when you have a mentor. I never realized that before. I was just leaving, going to church and have a, had a pastor, but I never knew what a benefit could be when you have a mentor that is so close to you, that is mentoring you, that is guiding you, that is leading you, that is giving you injunctions and instructions, that is, you know, you, that is caring for you, that cares for your future and destiny, and that is actually leading you into that destiny, that is helping you to carry the kingdom of God and release the kingdom of God on a factual basis, on daily basis. And uh, so if you are listening to us here today and you don't have a mentor, I, I would recommend for you to, you know, build a mentorship relationship or a close relationship with Pastor Sunday because he's probably the best mentor that you could ever have in life that could help you to become any, everything that you ever dream of becoming. We have done it. It has happened to us. And uh, we want to recommend that you do everything you can in your life to get closer to Pastor Sunday. Get as close as possible to him and you will not believe you, who you will become as a result. Я хочу сказать, что вы очень важные люди, и нет другого человека у Бога, который бы решил э, ту боль и ту проблему, которую вы видите. Э, я также думала раньше, что кто-то другой за меня стоп, сделает. Стоп, стоп. Wow. I, I want to tell you, everybody, that you are, you are more important than you think. That you are more important than you think. You say, before, I used to think that the problems that I see in the society, all the issues that are bothering me and bothering the old people, I used to think that 
government would do it or somebody else would do it, you know. There are some people who are called to do it or there are some, you know, government officials who are being paid to do it. I used to just look around and look at the thing, problems and complain like every other person and talk about them, complain about them. But I never, we never, you know, we look down on ourselves, everybody, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I, you, you are much more important than you think. God is seeing you as the solution for the world. God is seeing you as the solution to the problems of the world. You are much more important than you could imagine. You are important. You are that solution. You are the person that God has created to bring about the solution to those problems that you have been complaining about. You are that person. God created you for that purpose. He had that intention in you, but you are looking at yourself and you're saying, no, oh, but I'm just Andrew, but I'm just Lena, but I'm just Hannah. You know, I'm just Hannah. I'm just Hannah. I mean, it is a whole country. How, how can I address the problem of a whole country? I mean, I cannot do anything. I'm just one person. But really? That's what we just discovered, that even we as ordinary, ordinary girls, not single, not married, just ordinary girls from high school, that we are now changing our nation just by believing in this instruction that this man gave us. You know, that is, you, you know, I want to let everyone that is watching us today know you are much more important than you think. You are much more important than you think. You are so important that you are the answer and the solution to that particular problem that is bothering you. It's not somebody that's going to solve it. It's not somebody out there that's going to come. It's not the government. It's not some organization. It's not some millionaires. You are the one God is trusting to be that solution. So begin to look at yourself differently. Begin to believe in yourself. You are the one that is being picked up from the crowd to be the answer. If you are concerned about it, then you are the solution. If you are bothered about it, then you are the solution. If you are being angered and provoked by it, then you are the solution. If you are being, if you are having love and hatred, a love and hatred attitude to that situation, then you are the one. That is the sign that God has called you to be that person to provide that solution. Then that's what has happened to us. If you will just believe it and begin to pursue after your purpose and vision and begin to develop yourself and begin to be trained and be led to do this, you will just discover that it's easy. You can change the world. Поэтому вот только следуя тому, что говорит вам тренер, то, что говорит пастор Сандей, вы можете достичь этих же результатов. А, так как я также а, думала, что я простой человек, я ничего не могу, меня, с меня ничего не получится, я плохо училась, или у меня чего-то не получается, у меня нет каких-то способностей, или мне сказали, что я никогда ничего не достигну. Только благодаря тому, что вы будете слушать пастора СНД и то, что он вам говорит, он видит дальше, и просто делая это, вы увидите результат своей жизни, вы увидите себя измененным, вы увидите себя влиятельным человеком в этом мире. You know, it's one of the greatest mis 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 service or this justice that, that we could do to ourselves is to look down on ourselves and say, "I cannot do anything. I'm nobody. I am, I'm I'm nobody. I can't do anything. I'm nobody." You know, but God doesn't see you that way. God doesn't see you as a nobody. God doesn't create nobodies. God creates history makers. God creates life changers. God creates everybody important. God creates everybody to be significant. God creates everybody or created everybody to make a difference. God made, created you to be a to make a to make a difference in, in, in your world. So you just need to discover this. And this is one of the ways you are already discovering it right now. God is making you to discover by listening to Pastor Sunday. Everything you listen to Pastor Sunday, don't just take them as some nest teaching or as some good or bad teaching, but take them as something that you should implement, something that you should you should execute. You know, just make sure that you go and find a way to execute everything you hear from this man. You know, we decided to execute. We decided to bring to pass those things that we were hearing from him and it made us who we became. We discovered that, oh, wow. So we are not so ordinary as we were thinking. Ordinary people are the people who do extraordinary things. Ordinary people are the people God needs. God doesn't need some special people. God just needs you the way you are and your willingness, your availability. You just need to be willing to be able to say, here I am, I'm ready to go. I want to take God and his kingdom to that particular place, to that sphere of life that I have burden for. If I have burden for it, if I have passion for it, I know God is calling me. It is me God is trusting with this task and I'm going to do it. I need training. If you need training, go listen to Pastor Sunday's messages. Go get as many of them as possible. Go get his books as many as possible and then go follow uh, everything he's asking you to do in those stations. Go and 
pursue those teachings and go and you know uh, uh, practice all of them and you will not believe it that from you ordinary you will become soon extraordinary that is changing the world that is changing lives of people and that uh, god is using to bring about and establish his kingdom wherever your area of passion is и спасибо, что вы уделили время сегодня участь. И, конечно же, если вы сюда приходите, то у вас есть это желание. И вы сможете, благодаря не только вашему желанию, но труду, о котором я еще не успела рассказать. У нас еще есть время. Еще есть. Если все, да. У нас еще есть 20 минут. 20 минут. Да. Не обязательно. Если мы можем тут послушать Лена, она может добавить, если что. Но труд, я думаю, что желательно говорить о труде. So she said she uh, she feels that the time is over now and she has to stop because the key to all these things is work. It's hard work. You must be willing to work and sacrifice yourself and really work hard to develop yourself, to add value to yourself, to be able to develop your skill skill level and to be able to, you know, you know, make yourself an authority that people will believe, that people will follow, that people will know that you believe in what you are saying and people know that you know what you are saying, that you must be skillful. You must be able to develop your skills where you are. You are. So whatever skill, sphere of influence that you want to influence, you must make sure that you will become one of the best there. You must become so skillful that people don't even doubt your competence or your expertise when you, when you begin to talk. So it's easier for people to follow you when they know what you have done or when they know that you are good or when you do, they know that you are coming with solution and answers. И хочу сказать, что uh, не было очень просто выполнять все задания, так как нужно было работать, <laughs> нужно было uh, читать книги и делать задания, читать по три книги в месяц и выполнять задания по ним. Uh, нужно было открывать общественную организацию, нужно было писать статьи и ходить на uh, общественные советы uh, и там также трудиться, а также находить время для того, чтобы для духовного еще развития. И работа у тебя? Да, и работа и нужно было три и дня в месяц. Еще есть? И церковь, надо еще и церковь и служение в церкви также никто как бы не отменял и нужно было находить три дня в месяц для того чтобы находиться с Богом в уединении как одно из заданий пастора СНД очень важных вот. то есть не было так просто как хотелось бы но эти небольшие усилия два грамма усилия о которых мы говорили они дают результат и э, вы тогда прилагаете два грамма усилия вы не будете иметь далее какие-либо разочарования в жизни да. Yeah, why do I talk about work? I mean, the thing I'm talking, talking to you about, if you want, if you have been coached and been mentored by Pastor Sunday, is all about work. First of all, you have to read minimum three books a month. He, has, he himself prescribes the books for you. And not just read the books, but you must, you know, he gives you the title of book to read. And when you read it, you must sit down and write. The, you know, what you got from the book, then what you are going to do with the book, and what are the, your decisions, and then you are going to prove what are the results of what you have done as a result of what you have read. So, so you know, it's not just about reading books. I mean, this is all in a month you must do this. You know, you will be able to produce the fruits of what you are reading. That's number one. Number two thing that you must do, Pastor Sunday is really very strong about, uh, you know, that if you really want to carry the kingdom of God to the world, you must be image yourself in God. That is the way Pastor Sunday said you must have your personal relationship with God. And the way Pastor Sunday taught us to do is that we must all shut everything down in a month and take at least three days off, three days off. So you must have three days off where you alone, nobody, no family, no children, no husband, no wife, you must lock yourself up in the presence of God. Just being alone with him and getting to see what he, 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 he is having for you and getting to be imagining his presence so that you'll be able to effectively carry his glory. So that you don't carry yourself to your promised land. You don't carry your, your understanding or your, your value system, but you carry the value system of God. You carry the glory of God, the, 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 the wisdom of God, you carry the, 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 the value system of God, all those things that God has taught you while you are in those three days. Every month you must do this. Go lock yourself up for three days and then come out with solution. Then go and work for the rest of the month to go and change your society. But that is just nothing from out of the work that we have to do. Remember we still have our families. Remember we still have our jobs. Remember we are still full-time workers. Remember, then we have to go and find out a way of registering our social organizations. 
We have to go and find our ways and means of registering our NGOs. You have to form, I mean, learn how you know, civil society works. You have to make sure that you do promotion and you do advertisement so that your, your voice will be heard in the nation. You have to find a way of promoting yourself. Pay for it. Pay for your registration. Promote and pay for your own you know, ministrations. All those things that they are doing, I don't pay for them. The church doesn't pay for them. You have to pay for your NGO. You have to sponsor your NGO. You have to sponsor all the workers there. You have to sponsor all the the, the old legal process, everything that your NGO do, all your outreaches, you have to do outreach every month. You have to go and influence some sphere of influence every month. You have to go and do some program for people who are less privileged than you on a monthly basis. So all those things, you have to spend your money to do all those things. And they, so we must. They, so the willingness to work hard like crazy. Apart from that, all of us must be in one government office or the other. So, so as government officials or government you no know, workers or political influencers being in government demands a lot of work as well so we're doing government work you know for free as volunteers the government doesn't pay us for that so we're doing government work but apart from that and apart, that is apart from everything we are doing the training group or mentorship group of Pastor Sunday we still have to do our own social uh, influences and social network and influence in our every, all those spheres of influence and we have to develop ourselves we have, so all those things you have to be done that's why I talk about hard work you have to be willing to die to yourself you have to be willing to really live for the kingdom of god kingdom has to be your priority you really have to you must be willing to pay the price of two grams that is a two grams of pain is the, the those all those things we are doing those are just two grams of pain but if you fail to do them and to make a difference in your life that will be two tons of pain two tons of pain because you live a life of regret in your old age you have not changed the world you have not changed anybody you have not changed your community nobody is saying thank you to you you god is not saying thank you to you You have not changed anything you've just gone to church all your life you've just been religious all your life you just attending church services but nothing to show for it so you have wasted your life the price of the pain of waste of a wasted life is two tons compared to the pain of these things that we are doing it's just two gram compared to two tons of pain of regret in old age when you discover that you have lived your life for nothing. Pastor Sadei учил нас всегда различным принципам. Один из принципов это принцип трудолюбия. Он говорил, что благодаря труду ты можешь достичь любой цели, которую ты себе поставишь, и стать любым человеком, которым ты захочешь. Ты можешь изменить себя, свою личность, ты можешь изменить свою семью, ты можешь изменить свое общество и свою страну. И это очень важно, важно запомнить, что молитва, она только дает дорогу, открывает для труда. Но благодаря твоему труду ты можешь много изменить. Who she's telling, telling it's one of the principles that I taught them. She said that even though we spend three days alone with God, just praying, like for 10, 14, for 18 hours a day, but and you know, reading, studying, and just being in the presence of God. But apart from just praying, that is not the main thing. The prayer and the you know solitude with God, personal relationship with God, is all preparation for the work so that we'll be able to do the work of the Father, so that we'll be able to be engaged with the business of the Father like, like, like Jesus did. I must be, I must be busy with the business of my Father. I must do the work of my Father. So, you know, even though we pray, but that is for us to know what to do and to be able to do something effectively. So after you pray, you come out of there. The pastor has taught us that through work and through hard work, you can rebuild your own life. You can reform yourself. You can reform your composition. You you can build yourself into somebody that you must be and that you want to be. You can create your own ideal life and become whoever you want to be. You, you have the power to recreate your life, to reform your life. And not just your own life, but you also have the power to change your environment. You can change your city. Everyone, individually, you alone can do that. If you could work hard on yourself, if you could work hard on changing yourself, the next thing is you should have the vision of changing your community or your city or your own nation. It is natural for us now to think that way. That's the only way we live now. We live on a daily basis to change the world to around us, to make the world a better place. And we don't even doubt it anymore that we can do this. We have faith because we have done it we have been caused to believe in ourselves and now it's, it's working out for us it's a reality that everybody that believes in God that knows God that has a relationship with God and that believes in himself more importantly can change the world есть одна из книг пастора Сандея которая называется из дворников президента где пастор Сандей он говорит о принципах трудолюбия что благодаря тому что человек 
хочет стать самым лучшим на работе или где-либо, где он может достичь э, высо, выс, э, тех высот, о которых он не мечтал. Э, например, например, он может ложиться позже на один час и трудиться больше других, он может вставать раньше, он может оставаться на работе для того, чтобы сделать лучше, он может не отказываться от какой-либо работы. И все эти принципы, они, конечно же, помогут ему стать лучшим и помогут и подняться на работе, и там, где человек находится, и занять совсем другую позицию, высокую. So we have discovered right now that it is real. We know that there's nothing impossible that is, there's not nothing anymore that is impossible. Everything is possible in life and, and that if you can work on yourself, if you are willing to pay the price, you can attain any height, you can become anything. Uh, the Pastor Sunday actually wrote another book that is called How to Go from a Gardener to a President, How to Go from a Gardener to a President, How to Become a President from a Gardener. So, and, and, and that book is full of principles. Pastor is talking, he can give you concrete steps to take to become the top anywhere. You can go as a cleaner to a bank and become the president of the bank in the, in the next few years. You can go from the street to, to, to a TV station and become the, the, the owner of the TV station if you want. You can become, go into politics or into a political party as just somebody walking down the street and then become a, 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 an MP, you know, and a senator. You, you can become everything just by following those principles. But the, the bottom line of it all is that you must believe in God, believe in yourself, and then, then be willing to pay the price and work and do anything that needs to be done for you to, do, to get what you need to get in life. Еще один из принципов, который пастор нас учил, это принцип самообразования. Только благодаря тому, что пастор давал нам читать по три книги в месяц, а также мы читали еще какую-то профессиональную литературу, касающуюся нашей сферы, мы могли расширять наш разум, мы могли расширять понимание, мы могли видеть больше и понимать больше. И это также расширяло наше сознание для того, чтобы исполнять ту работу, которую мы сейчас делаем. Another principle that pastor taught us that has really helped, apart from the principle of hard work, is the principle of adding value to yourself, self-education. You know, uh, you know, pastor is make, uh, he gives us his own, th no, three books from him alone. He's recommended three books a month. But apart from that, we still need to study the professional books, you know, because everybody has his own sphere and professional area where he's going to take the kingdom of God. To. So and the, the, the teaching of pastor is that you must be the best there also. So we need to, as professional, also pray, I mean, work hard and study our professional books and become the best there as well. So self-education, studying all the time, making sure that you know better than everybody else, they open the door for you and they make sure to get to attain something that, you know, no other person could even have dreamt of that is possible before. Okay. Lena wants to add to what uh, I have been saying. Я хотела добавить к интересной истории, а не то, что я возвращаюсь к тем заданиям, которые пастор нам давал. Первое – это зарегистрировать общественную организацию, второе – это получить степень, научную степень. Вы знаете, вот именно когда мы выполнили эти два задания, это как была такая взрывная смесь, потому что в нашей стране, когда правительство хочет обсудить какую-то проблему и решить эту проблему, они приглашают на круглые столы и обсуждают эту проблему, с научным миром. Они обращаются только к тем людям, которые имеют научную степень. И не важно в какой сфере. Главное, mm -hmm. чтобы у тебя был это приставка кандидат наук, доктор наук. Ты можешь входить в эти круглые столы и предлагать реальную помощь. Поэтому только тогда, когда мы получили степень и могли быть вхожи в, на разные конференции, только тогда у нас наша деятельность, она на самом деле набрала настоящие wow. обороты. И это тоже как секрет, который хотелось бы поделиться с вами. I also want to tell you one of the other secrets that, uh, that has really helped us is that education is very vital. Not just the self-education, but the papers. You have to have the degree. If you can try to have your higher degree or master's, especially PhD, is really very important. Like in our country, once we had our PhD and people know that we are doctors, I mean, we could enter into any door. We could open the, the window, especially when we are co not just doctors who don't have papers, but when we are writing our papers, when we are presenting papers. In our country, only doctors could present papers. Only people who have PhD could present their papers. So when, country, when our country wants to solve problems and anything, we as PhD holders could actually present our papers to resolve the problems of the society. But if you had not had the 
PhD, if you had not had a degree, we might have answers, we might have solutions, we might have ideas, but we will not be able to present those solutions on that level. But because we obeyed pastor and we went to do what he said we should do, we were able, the doors were open for us to be able to bring our ideas and solution to the problems of the land and to the right in the laws of the country as well. The, so also is with the government. Pastor said we should all have some government or political positions or the other, either in the ministry, you know, some ministerial positions, or it should be some political positions, or it should be some regional governmental positions, that you must be in the, in the running of your country. You must be a part and parcel of that running of the government. Thank God that he said that, and we believed him, and we went to pursue it, and all of us got positions, some places in the government and we couldn't believe it that could, this could happen to us we couldn't believe it that we deserve to have places in the government but we did and thanks to that that also gave us a lot of influence and a lot of avenue and platform that we'll be, we could be able to bring the kingdom of god and solutions uh, into anywhere in the, those places that we shows that that's our own spheres of influence Я хочу напомнить э, те принципы, о которых мы говорили, что находясь okay. в церкви и просто служа, например, в прославлении, как я 10 лет, э, мы никак не сможем повлиять на этот мир, не сможем повлиять на людей. Мы должны выйти за пределы церкви, мы должны научиться разговаривать с этим миром на том языке, на котором он понимает. Это зарегистрирует общественную организацию. Это... Wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. I want to remind you some of the principles we spoke about. Just by sitting down in your pews in church, I sat down in church for 10 years before pastor started all these trainings. But, but you're just sitting down in your church, you could waste your life. You could be a Christian and waste your whole life. You could be a Christian and waste your destiny. You could be a Christian and just be a waste. And you could be a Christian and just live a life of regret. If you are a Christian and you are just going to church only, go in, go out, and you're just living for yourself, just making a living and just working in a secular job just to you know, make money for salary, you're just wasting your life. You're not making a kingdom impact. You are not bringing about the kingdom of God. And that's what I did for 10 years. But thank God, because of these teachings from Pastor Sunday, I was able to now discover that I could make a difference in my world. I could actually fulfill my calling. I could actually discover who I, what I was created for, what I was made for. So thank God that, you know, you know, it's, it's a time for you to be able to say, hey, it's time for me to quit just sitting down in churches. It's time for me to begin to discover who I am. What did God call me to do? What did he create me for? He created you for something. He created he packaged you for an assignment and that's what we started doing so besides self-education and training of each other i mean ourselves working on ourselves getting to get education and we we also had the the you know the platform we needed the platform and that platform was ngo uh, civil society platform that we created we found out how that works we created that and then that gives us the the the, the avenue to be able to go out and speak on it onto the nation И поэтому, находясь в церкви 10 лет, мне стало уже неинтересно, я перестала понимать, зачем я здесь нахожусь, как мое призвание оно исполнится, что будет дальше. И только благодаря тому, что пастор Сендей начал нас учить, я смогла понять, кто я, какое мое призвание. Только благодаря этим заданиям и этим планам, которые я писала, я смогла понять и начинать осуществлять свое призвание через общественную деятельность. Another thing with another thing I want to say is that we complain that people backslide, that people fall away from church, that people stop coming, even old people who have been coming to church for five years, ten years, ten, twenty years. What do I expect? What else do we expect? When people have been going to church for 10 years, 15 years, and they are just doing the same thing over and over again, just listening to preachings and to, to messages, and their lives are not changing, they are not impacting their own generation. I mean, they, it's like it's boring. Church becomes boring when you just come to sit down and listen to somebody preach all day long, every week. I mean, by the time you do that for 10 years, you are tired. You don't want to. That's why people also go from church to church because people are looking for something that will give them a, get them engaged. But that's not what we're supposed to be doing really you're supposed to be looking for yourself to discover who you are who you are made to be what is, what what were you sent to the world for you were created sent to the world to fulfill a goal and a purpose you need to look inside and you need to do anything to discover what you are sent here for and then begin to pursue those things that's why your life takes a new meaning <laughs> домашний групп, который придумал пастор, они одновременно и простые, и гениальные. 
Это система, которая основана на том, что вы просто исполняете то, что вам говорит пастор СД, те принципы, и они помогают и выталкивают вас, делают вас из простого человека, как была я, которая никогда не мечтала стать кем-то в этой жизни, которая была тихая и скромная, но это тренинговые группы, они помогли мне раскрыть себе свой потенциал, и сейчас я совершенно удовлетворена тем, что я делаю, потому что я нахожусь в своей земле. But, but, but the most important thing is that if you find a mentor like Pastor Sunday, you know, it's such a great discovery in life. It's like finding gold because, you know, I never knew that I could become anything in life. I never even dreamt of becoming anything in life. I never even thought it was possible for me to become anything in life. I never even thought of significance. I, I thought I was just a human being, just, you know, who is just supposed to eat and sleep and go to work and eat and sleep and go to work and just live and just exist and just go to church and just be happy that I'm born again, that I'm going to heaven and then be, live a bored and boring life of depression and frustration and disillusionment. But now that same disillusioned person who was just always closing himself, introvert, and who was never, who was bored with life, who didn't know what to do with it, who never I knew that she could become anything of significance. That same person is influencing a whole nation now. That same person is changing and contributing to the development of our, our, our whole country. That same person is influencing thousands of lives right now, making decisions, policies. That same person that never knew she could become anything. And that's because I got a mentor. <laughs> Именно благодаря труду, именно благодаря тому, что ты делаешь какой-то грязный труд, который сначала не виден. Там мы сейчас рассказываем о каких-то плодах, о чем-то ярком, но труд это всегда что-то такое грязное, иногда скучно, иногда нужно прилагать множество усилий. Но когда ты в своей земле, на самом деле этот труд он приносит удовольствие. И именно этот труд закладывает основания всем остальным вашим успехам в вашей жизни. I want to use this opportunity to thank Pastor Sunday and to also thank God that I want to thank God and thank Pastor Sunday that, you know, he, God used him to, from, to make me who I am. And I, I also want to say that, you know, you know, life begins to take a new meaning right now because you discover who you are, because I discover who I am. You know, I'm now living a fulfilled life, dreaming to wake up in the morning. Because I know I could make cause a difference to come. So please go find your promised land. Go find your place in life. Go find the calling for which God created you, and you will be dreaming of waking up the next day. Я в завершении хотела подвести итог и сказать, что эта передача о том, что нас научили взять ту воду, которую предлагали в церкви, и понести ее в мир. И даже если неверующие люди не захотели бы пить эту воду, нам нужно было просто представить эту воду в виде чая, кофе, сока, mm. ну, э, представить принципы Царства Божьего, то, что мы слышим в церкви, в таком виде, который бы приняли люди неверующие. Mm. Mm. В нашем случае это научная деятельность. Mm. Мы превращаем эту воду в то... Э, в, в том виде, в котором ее будут кушать, пить Amen. и с удовольствием принимать. I want to say that what we are actually doing is that when you go to church, you go and get yourself exposed to the kingdom of God. And, and uh, when you expose yourself to the kingdom of God, uh, the kingdom of God, you know, you take the values of the, you get the values of the kingdom of God in the church. But in our case, we are not just going to the kingdom, of, getting the values of the kingdom of God, but we are taking it. We are working on ourselves, developing those values of the kingdom of God and taking it to the world. So let's say the, the, the kingdom of God is water. And, you know, we take the water and the water is in the church. So we take the water from the church to feed the people of the nation without water. But sometimes people don't like water. People say, well, I don't like to drink water. Well, but they like to drink uh, juice. They like to drink uh, you know, soft drinks. They like to drink uh, gas drinks and things like that. So we could make the same water, make it drinkable for people, make it appealing to people. So that's what we have done. So we, you know, they don't want. They said they don't want water, but they want to drink juice. They said they don't want water, but they want to drink, uh, you know, soft drink. They said they don't want water, but they want to drink Coke. They want to drink Coca Cola. They want to drink a lot of other things. They are gas drinks. So that's what we do. We repackage the kingdom of God in a way that is palatable to the world. We're 
package the word of God in a way that they don't have any option but for it to make it attractive to them. So they are so attracted to it that they themselves begin to beg for it. So that's what we're supposed to do with the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is always needed. Only the person might not know that it's needed because it's the way you are presenting it to them. But if you package it in what to, in what they need and the way in the, in the th needs they already have, you will discover that nobody will be able to reject the kingdom of God. <laughs> Brilliant. Well said. So? Ну, в принципе, э, хочу сказать, что делайте э, то, что, то, что мы вам сегодня говорили, может быть, что-то поможет. Если какие-то есть вопросы, мы, мы могли бы оставить свои контакты, имейлы, если кому-то что-то интересно, что-то спросить, как у нас что получается. Вот, мы можем, в принципе, открыты для этого общения. She is saying that if you contact us, Anybody that is interested in what we are saying in our story and you want to know more about it, how to take it, carry the kingdom of God in a practical sense like we are doing, you might want to contact us. I give my email. My email, who, who is Pastor Sunday's email, is pastor at godembassy.org. You know my email. If you write me, I will send it to them or I will connect you to them, get their contacts as well. So write a pastor at godembassy.org. But if you want to join the mentorship group, just go to sundayadelajablog.com, sundayadelajablog.com, register for the subscription subscription there. And, uh, you know, join the mentorship group and you could be mentored by Pastor Sunday as well. So, girls, you are awesome. You are awesome. You two are awesome. So let's say bye. I mean, you want to say bye to everybody watching yeah. us? Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that's it now from girls. Let me come back and read what you people are writing. Let me see what you people are writing about today. Okay. Ketia Fordjohn said, I'm grateful to God and to Erica to be connected and listen to these great testimonies. By the way, if you don't know that I come up two times a day, I come home two times a day, every day. That is uh, 7.30 a.m. British time and 7.30 a.m. Nigerian time, 2.30 a.m. Eastern time in America. And it has every morning. Then every evening, I come up 7, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Nigerian time and 7 p.m. British time as well. Every day, every day, two times a day, 7.30 in the morning and 7 in the evening. Ukrainian time is... Uh, 9.30 in the morning and 9 in the evening. So uh, Ketsia says she's grateful that she's connected to listen to these stories. Often I felt like suffocating in my church. Wow. Suffocation in the church. Wanting to do something like these sisters are testifying of, but got frustrated upon frustrations. Thank, thank you, Pastor Sunday. Lola Shorunke uh, say thank you, ladies. Uh, Shao Smith say bye girls thank you so very much mm. uh, Emmanuel say awesome testimonies thank you all Coyote is saying Basile uh, okay uh, Shao Smith say thank you dear sisters I will look at your, your encouragement and be to influence my sphere of life Tosi I know that's my sister hello and Timmy blessings from how is Houston? How is Dallas? How is uh, Texas? Olukayo Day says, "Good to hear these amazing testimonies. Looking forward to seeing many Africans becoming extraordinary people through these testimony through, through these stations. All things are possible. Time for Christians to rule in all spheres of life." Rachel Onanga says, "But Pastor, what if your calling is becoming a certified financial analyst? Good. Why not?" You can become anything, anything. How can you effectively use your calling for advancement of the kingdom of God? How can you impact the whole nation, for instance? Wow, <laughs> that is so easy as well. But, you know, you think, you know your sphere of influence, your area of financial analysis. Find out the problem that exists in that sphere of life and procure solutions. You know, use the knowledge base that you have and begin to address them on the net, on the net. Okay, for example, let's say people don't pay their taxes all over the country. So come up with recommendations. Come up with say, okay, I've done the financial analysis of the country. Or let's say the way you are not satisfied, the way the budget of your country is being addressed. You know, a lot of areas. That's your own area of financial. That, I didn't. I'm not a financial analyst. An so I, you should be telling me what's the problem there and how to bring solution there. Uh, Andrew 
uh, Imad Lore says, now wow, this is technology. Yes, this is technology to change the world. This is real technology to change the world. Pavel Semshuk Gavari, Priyatna Slushat Lude Katore Rihanna Shota Delight. Molatse, Molatse. Flair Karim Matip say, Pastor, it seems you are translating and preaching at the same time. <laughs> Your translation is too long. <laughs> I love you. Well, thank you. I needed to explain more to you so that you understand where we are coming from. Grace Odon said, Good evening, Pastor. May the Lord continue to increase you. I would, I will there at this point in my life. I really want to be a mentor. I really want to be mentored. Yeah, no problem. No problem. We are here for you. Flair Karen Matip also says, Such a strong testimony from this beautiful young woman of God. Thank you so much to you both. I believe many people who are following Pastor Sunday through this program, including myself, we have many to say about the strong and powerful changes in their spheres of influence and life. So thank you, Flair. And we're expecting your testimonies for sure. Udofia saying, This is great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Shioma says, inspiring. I really have a lot of work to do in my country. Yeah, yeah. We all have a lot of work to do. You know, now, remember, you now you can understand why God is sending me back to Africa. Because this needs to be applied in every country. This needs to be applied in every country. And if you want, if you want to read more about that, I wrote about all these things in this book, The Kingdom Driven Life. Also, this book also could help you. The church shift. So you go to Amazon, the Kingdom Driven Life especially, and this, you'll be able to read more about these strategies and these things we're talking about. Apute Ben says, this is one of the sessions I love most. It simply tells you practical Christianity works. At least I am a testimony. Great evidence. In just three months of coming across Pastor Sunday, religious act uh, as against religion, you know, many years of religious activities with no result in churches. Yeah, Ben is having similar testimony in just three months by coming to Ukraine, stayed here with me just for a week, and he went back and is producing the same kind of results in Africa right now. So he's, he's, this is real. This is real. And if you hear all these stories, you can reproduce them. That's the good thing. So don't just hear the stories. Don't just get encouraged. Go and do the same thing. Go and do the same thing. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Our time is up. I'll be back tomorrow morning again, 7.30 a.m. Nigerian time, British time, 7.30 a.m. as well, 8.30 a.m. European time, Central European time, and 2.30 a.m. Uh, American time, Eastern time. Okay, let me read one more comment from Lanona Debayo. Pastor, hearing today's practical testimony of carrying the kingdom to of God to our sphere of influence is mind-blowing and remarkable my greetings to the old, to the two girls they are awesome as you have replicated yourself in them god bless you thank you everybody and see you bye <laughs>